Chalmette High School seniors got their rings, Miss Voce got an award, and our friends on the bayou got much needed help. All these stories and more are coming up on this month's Super News. Hi, I'm Lexi Pritchard. And I'm Barry Lemoyne, and welcome to Super News, where we take a look back at all of the good things happening here in our school system. We'll begin with a wild build sighting at Shelman High School when WGNO-TV reporter Bill Wood visited the campus recently. Wood, a multiple Emmy Award winning journalist, was at the school for a story featuring longtime CHS principal Wayne Warner. Most of us watched the clock waiting for the moment we could break down the front door and escape from high school, but not you, Wayne Warner. I loved all the activities, I loved the teachers, I loved the students who were peers. Uh, I enjoyed every day. Come on, just keep going. As principal, Wayne Warner is the top teacher and the head coach in charge of his team of 2,200 kids. During his visit, Mr. Wood also graciously agreed to be on the other side of the camera, being interviewed by students from the school's film and video production class under the direction of Miss Andrea Morningstar. Can you describe your regular day as a reporter? I can. I get up really early, about 4 o'clock, and I have coffee, and then I'm at the studio by 5.30. I go on the air at 6.30, and I introduce the story that we've usually shot and edited the day before. So then when I'm done, what Justin and I do, Justin is my photographer, producer, editor, we'll meet and go out on a story like the one where we are today at Chalmette High. We'll put that together, and then that runs the next day. We also had a pair of guest artists on campus recently as part of the Art Strong series. First up was dancer and aerialist Elisa Marie Reed, who spoke about her performance career and conducted a master class for the students in Miss Jessica Gorbity's dance studio. You have to work so hard and be diligent and keep going, even though you think it is dire. If you want it, you have to go get it for yourself. Um, there is nobody that will just call you out of the blue and say, hey, do you want to be a dancer? That's not happening. You have to go to the classes. You have to go to the auditions. You have to do all those things. And the world is changing a lot. Mm -hmm. And so you actually have to change what you think success is. So during the pandemic especially, I was doing a lot of film. I was doing outdoor performances. I was doing performances in non-traditional spaces. And so you really have to be very adaptable and say, yes, I want that. Yes, if you, if you really want it. Singer Tyrone Chamber also took part in a master class for students interested in performing arts. He spoke about the challenges and strategies for pursuing a college career on stage. Mr. Chamber also performed several selections as part of his visit. And speaking of visit, let's head over to Trist Middle School to meet its Super News team there. Hello, I'm Lindsay Ludwig. And I'm Jackson Nunez. And welcome to Trist for our Super News segment. And we'll kick off with our news day with football. Get it? Football? Kickoff? Anyway, for the first time in nearly two years, the members of our Pirate football team took to the field. Fans in the stands, action on the gridiron, and performing groups united in excitement and celebration were all part of the fun. And while there were a lot of our Trist family members at the game, some members of our team are always there for us at school. Recently, eight faculty and staff members were recognized for their commitment to education, receiving perfect attendance for the 2020-2021 school year. Another faculty member getting recognition recently was our very own Mr. Caserta. He was recently honored with a Golden Apple Award for his outstanding work in the classroom. It's teaching students about different life skills and job skills that they're going to need in the future, especially after they graduate from high school. Because we saw a lot of students, you know, like after they got out of high school, they didn't quite have a plan and now having a plan is, you know, our focus. Congratulations, Mr. Caserta, and thanks for representing us all so well. And before we leave, we'd like to introduce you to the third member of our team, Mia Balsam. 
It is now my privilege to share this new segment for Super News called Principal Spotlight. And now, Ms. Denise Pritchard. Hi, I'm Denise Pritchard. I'm the principal of Trist Middle School, and this is my 33rd year in education. I actually did not want to be a teacher. Um, I, yeah. You know, I, when I was younger, I'd play school with my little, you know, stuffed animals and things like that. But I went to school, to college, I wanted to be a lawyer. Um, but the part of the curriculum and the classes that I took were the, the things that made me realize, I think I want to teach. Whenever I had to present or um, teach other students what we were doing, I liked it and kind of gravitated towards it. I had a roommate who was in education and I liked what she was doing more than what I was doing. And so I went into education and I knew right away it was what I was supposed to be doing. I never intended on being a middle school principal, but I did teach middle school. Um, about 10 years ago, Ms. Foche came to me and asked me to come and lead Trist Middle School. Came here and I've been here for 10 years now, love it. Um, teaching elementary school was one of my favorite things to do and I did run a middle school, I mean an elementary school for a little while, but um, I think the lessons that I've learned about being a principal no matter what level you are in is to recognize the talents of your staff and bring them together all around you. You can't be an island and run a school. Um, you're more effective when you have a lot of people around you and a team and I've learned that in so many situations. I don't want to leave because I don't want to leave part of my family. You are not alone. Um, we have a lot of support for struggling and for new teachers. Once teachers get here, they kind of get sucked into our, um, our family um, and don't want to leave. For me, it's a lot about family. It's about relationships. Thank you, Ms. Pritchard, for all you do. Hey, Jackson, did you hear Ms. Pritchard tell our eighth graders to swing a ladder to Chalmette next year? A ladder? Why? <laughs> I guess because it's a high school. I guess. Anyway, thanks for tuning in today, and now back to our friends at Penn TV. Bye. Bye. Nice job, Pirates. I know I'm new here, but that Miss Pritchard seems like a great lady. In other news, our CHS seniors celebrated quite a milestone recently with Ring Day. Held on the field of Bobby Nuss Stadium, this ceremony is a major milestone on our seniors' path toward graduation and the ring, a true symbol of class unity. So in conclusion today, on this special day that is just for you, I ask our seniors to take this moment to look around and to take it all in, to appreciate your surroundings and all of the people that made this moment possible. Think about your family and your friends, your coaches and your teachers, and of you and your classmates who achieved so much together. Congratulations to the class of 2022. We'd also like to salute our teachers who are recognized by their schools in our weekly teacher features. First up is Monica Ox, a fifth grade teacher at Joseph Davies who truly makes a difference in the lives of all of her students. Erica Lowe of Raleigh was also a featured teacher this month. Described as an out-of-this-world relationship builder, she brings a contagious energy, passion, and positivity towards her students in school each and every day. We'd also like to congratulate a duo at Miro Elementary, coaches Robert Gilchrist and Woody Mulkey. Referred to as a dream team of PE at Miro, these two engage students and encourage healthy lifestyles and choices. Brian Vesey of St. Bernard Middle School is our fourth and final teacher feature for this month. Brian is a positive, enthusiastic teacher who loves his curriculum, students, and colleagues. He is kind, caring, and meticulous. Congratulations to all four of these outstanding educators who truly show they care. We'd also like to recognize our superintendent, Ms. Doris Voce, who was recently recognized at a Bessie meeting for her 50 years of service and education. During the gathering, State Superintendent Dr. Kate Brumley and Bessie President Sandy Holloway took a point of privilege to spotlight Ms. Voce and commend her accomplishments, leadership, and lifelong commitment to education and her compassion for the students in Louisiana. Really the most important thing that we can do for every child in the state is to put a qualified and good teacher in every classroom. And we've had those discussions before and hopefully in the couple of years that I have left on this board, 
I really do want to make that a main focus in making sure that we've got quality teachers in these school. Care and compassion were also at the heart of a recent trip to Galliano, Louisiana, a small town devastated by Hurricane Ida. Through St. Bernard Day on the Bayou, our school system took part in a goodwill effort with our parish government, Nunes Community College, and dozens of volunteers and businesses to bring much needed supplies, food, and help to a community in dire need. Our neighbors on the Bayou truly need our support, so please help how and when you can. And now let's head over to Lacoste Elementary School to meet its Super News team. Hi, I'm Rami Daly. And I'm Kane Bride. And welcome to the home of the Bulldogs, Lacoste Elementary. We'll begin our Super News today with a quick look at Johnny Appleseed Day. Keeping up with the tradition our first graders have done for years, our students celebrate his birthday by wrapping their favorite apples and eating anything and everything that had apples in it. First graders celebrated with a feast at the end of the week. Hey, Rami, yesterday I just saw an apple sitting in the middle of Judge Perez. I guess it ran out of juice. And while our first graders were learning about apples, our second graders were learning about fairy tales and tall tales. After finishing their unit, our students celebrated at Tall Tale Day, dressing up as lumberjacks, blue oxen, and princesses as part of the fun. To top it off, each student enjoyed a pancake breakfast in their classrooms. Yum! Our school also celebrated literacy recently. In addition to hosting our first classic book fair of the year, our Bulldogs dress up daily as part of bringing literature to life. From college attire to Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, we all had a great time celebrating the joys of reading. And now, let's meet the Bulldog in charge here at Lacoste, our principal, Ms. Morell. So, my name is Heather Morell. I am principal of Lacoste Elementary, home of the Bulldogs. I just finished my 18th year in education. I've always prided myself in having a good relationship with my staff. We're not just a staff, we're a family here. That's when I came in, that was the one thing I felt like I wanted to get across. I kind of feel like they know everything already, but with that being said, if I had to have one takeaway, they know you're only as strong as the people you work with. I have always lived by that, so I'm only as strong as they are. So ultimately, if they fail, I fail, and I have repeated that to them multiple times. And it, this is not the Heather Morell show, right? It's, it's Lacoste. We are a family of almost 80. It takes all of us to make sure that day in and day out, our day goes smooth. We are all equal and our roles are equal. It does not matter your job here. With our theme being Unity this year, it kind of reminds me of the year we had our theme of connections. Same thing, you know, we're only as strong as we are united, not divided. So I even put a quote to my staff this year in my opening letter to them. It reminds me of our country, right? United we stand, divided we fall. That's how I look at our school. Thanks, Ms. Morell, for all you do for us. And thank you all for joining us today for Super News. We'll see you next time from the cost. Bye. Bye. And we'll end our program today with another feature from Lacoste Elementary School. A day to remember for two sisters who were part of an incredible reunion. Their dad, who just returned home after an 11 month deployment in Iraq, came to the school as part of a big surprise for his girls. It was truly a feel good moment and a reminder of how important it is to thank all of those who serve and sacrifice for our nation. With liberty and justice for all, you may turn. Thanks to all who serve, and thank you all for tuning in today to Super News, where we always let the Super News roll.